Hi guys, it's Jimmy McIntyre here with another episode in this series of quick Photoshop secrets. I'm a big fan of manually blending exposures in Photoshop for clean, crisp, balanced images, rather than relying on HDR software which can leave your images a little flat and surreal. Now I teach extensive exposure blending in my premium courses, but today I want to show you a very quick and easy technique to blend two exposures to come out with a very crisp and natural image with a good dynamic range of light. This is the image we'll be working with. Most of the image is nicely exposed for, apart from this area around the sky which is overexposed. Now I have a darker exposure where we're going to restore much of that overexposed sky. Now there are many different ways to do this, but we're going to do it very quickly and very easily using the Color Range tool. So to begin with we'll go to Select and Color Range. And because we want to target highlights we have to pull down this drop down box and go to Highlights. With these two sliders, range and fuzziness, it depends really on what you're selecting. If we just leave the range right now at 190, but bring the fuzziness up, we can see that we're extending our selection. We're making a smoother gradient between the darker and brighter areas in our mask. Now to see this on the full size image, we can click on grayscale, and this is what our mask is gonna look like. And if we bring this up a little bit more, let's say to around 85%, I'm trying not to get too much of the foreground in, and just press OK, we've now made our selection of the sky. All we need to do now is to go down to the bottom of the layers panel and press the add a mask icon. And now we've blended our two exposures, but it doesn't look particularly natural yet. All we need to do is bring down our opacity until the two exposures fit nicely together in a smooth way. And that looks good. So to look at the before and after, you can see it's heavily overexposed in the sky and now we've restored some of those highlights and if we zoom in we can see this a lot better there you go that's the before and after another way of doing this is we have two exposures here and we have some bright lights which I want to try and bring down because they're a little bit distracting again I have a darker exposure here which are ideal and all I need to do is on the base exposure the brighter exposure is place a layer mask and go to select color range and this time to go to sampled colors and it's already made the selection for us if it hasn't for you make sure you have the eyedropper tool selected on the left and simply click on the area you wish to blend in so I'm clicking on the highlights here and to make sure we have a good selection we can change the fuzziness which extends our range our selection and once you're happy with your selection just press OK You'll now see the marching ants appear that mark our selection. If we click once on the layer mask, go to paintbrush, make sure we have our foreground set to black, and we can press Ctrl and H or Command and H to hide the marching ants. And now we can just paint in the exposure here. And if I just zoom in, I can paint it a little bit more. And this is what it looked like before, and this is after. So as you can see, it's a lot less distracting now than it was before. And that's it, I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much and for more tutorials please subscribe to my YouTube channel.